Snake venom is purely a, um, a food-getting mechanism. It has nothing to do with defense. So a snake isn't trying to scare you or defend itself with venom at all. It's merely a way of immobilizing large-bodied prey uh, that have a high surface-to-volume ratio. Vipers and rattlesnakes and that, that whole group, the family have hemolytic uh, venom. Venom that is, has evolved to break down tissue and blood cells, in its essence, pre-digest. And that's why the fangs are long, by the way, to pierce a warm-blooded, thick-bodied or round-bodied prey, injecting that pre-digestion stuff in. Then the snake tracks, tracks the aroma, if you will. It's picking molecules up out of the air and out of the ground, transferring them to the Jacobson's organs. It tracks the, 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 the prey, which may have gone off 100 meters and died, and then swallows it whole. That's where the venom comes in, because it pre-digests it from the inside. So snakes aren't bad dudes. I mean, they don't think I'm poisonous, stay out of the way. The venom is just been conclusively shown to be a food-getting mechanism. The defense, the thing that warns you with the rattlesnake is the rattle. The warning mechanism is the rattle only. It has nothing to do with the teeth. With a cobra, it's the hood. I'm bigger than I really look. Go away.